To some other news now and a report you need to hear if you've ever tried a weight loss product, pill or potion. The report is out today in the Canadian Medical Association Journal. It says governments must start regulating the $50 billion weight loss industry and fast. Obesity expert Dr. Yoni Friedhoff is one of the report's authors. He's also medical director of the Bariatric Medical, medical Institute in Ottawa. So Dr. Friedhoff, why are you pushing for regulation of the commercial weight loss industry in Canada? Well, this is a big area. I mean, obesity has become the number two preventable cause of death in Canada. And Canada has become very good at explaining to people that it's a good idea to lose weight. But unfortunately, we've done a very poor job about telling people how and where to go to do that. And so we have this industry in Canada, a large one, where much of that industry is built on false promises and misleading representations. And to protect Canadians, I think we need to do something about it and quickly. Can you, can you give us some examples of, of what you consider misleading claims or, or promises by some in the weight loss industry? I mean, there are, there are so many of them. The two that we singled out in this paper uh, were the notion that B vitamin injections somehow magically cause fat loss and that there are multiple herbal products out there that can have a dramatic impact on a person's body weight or metabolism. Uh, and quite frankly, uh, there is no supported literature that would suggest that B vitamins do anything to help with weight management. And as far as the herbal products go, uh, there's in fact some evidence to suggest that they do no good whatsoever. So you say that, that, that they could do no good whatsoever, but is there actually harm that you're worried about? I mean, what health risks could some of these products or programs pose? Well, so there have been deaths associated with the uh, use of some herbal products, ephedra probably the most famous of those products that led to problems. Uh, there's also been deaths in poorly supervised weight management programs. Uh, but really, at the end of the day, this notion that natural must mean healthy uh, is false. I mean, tobacco is a natural product. There's a lot of mushrooms that I wouldn't want to eat in my backyard. Um, so simply because something is natural doesn't make it safe. And doctors don't look down their noses at natural. The majority of the drugs that we prescribe nowadays, in some cases, have been developed from natural products. So what we insist on and what we're calling for in this piece is that if a product is going to make a claim that it helps with weight management or with metabolism, that it needs to be able to support that claim with medical evidence. And if it can't support that claim, we don't think it should be allowed to be sold. Now, I, I suspect not all weight loss programs are misleading. Some are legitimate. Can you give us some features of a more healthy and realistic weight loss program? Absolutely. So one of the things for sure to look for is that the program itself has realistic goals. Uh, we should be focusing people on trying to lose 5 to 10 percent of their body weight at a rate of 1 to 3 pounds per week. Faster than that would suggest that the person is choosing a non-sustainable approach and perhaps a dangerous approach as there is risk to overly rapid weight loss. Uh, you want to make sure that you're being counseled by a professional, so physicians and dietitians are the folks who should be giving you dietary advice. It should include a nutritional component, a behavioral component, as well as an exercise component. And the exercise shouldn't be at such a pace to induce injury. It's got to be built up gradually. And the bottom line is any program out there, it must be able to support its statements, recommendations, and claims uh, with medical evidence. And if they can't support it with medical evidence, um, it shouldn't be allowed to be out in the marketplace. An easy thing for patients to do uh, is to ask their family doctors before they start any program what the family doctor thinks about the program that they're considering. It seems like such basic common sense, but what do you think is the likelihood that weight loss programs will, at some point, be government regulated so that if they make a medical claim, that medical claim has to be supported by folks like you? Well, there's some good news in that with regards to healthcare professionals specifically, so doctors, dietitians, chiropractors, we're actually governed under something called the Health Care Act. And frankly, if there are physicians out there making claims that are not supportable uh, by medical evidence with regards to weight management, and people are joining their programs because of being misled by these either false or simply misleading claims, then our colleges already have the power to start to regulate uh, by ensuring that those physicians who are making those claims uh, are no longer allowed to make them. Until then, um, unfortunately, we're left to our own devices. I'm hopeful, uh, but I'm also not holding my breath. Dr. Friedhoff, good to speak to you today about this. Thanks very much.